Got to get it, Papa. Well, here I am. And uh, I came by to take a look at some stuff. That sounds pretty cool. And uh, I'm not gonna mess around too much. We're just gonna go inside and look. Check out where we're gonna go. Look that. No, we're not going to the Cajun Loan place, although I could use the extra bucks. But uh, we're going to the, the toy room. And look in those windows. I'll give you a hint about what's in there, except for the name of the store, which is the toy room. <laughs> but look them little guys. And they got their helmets on and stuff. Some of them are a little confused, but it's okay. It's okay. Let's go see what's inside. Ooh. They've got the gauntlet game. But there's all kind of stuff in here to look for and collect. Some old style Ghostbuster things. Look at this Super Mario, just like at a uh, Cyphercon. But he, he wouldn't dress like that, he looked like that one, not like this one. All kind of, ooh, there's a, a gigantic Skeletor up there. <laughs> Some Pac-Man, they have like toys of everything now. Yeah, it's amazing what you can find. Marvel stuff. Oh, some Dragon Ball C. I like to say Dragon Ball C because it annoys people. Frankenstein Ninja Turtles. These are marvelous. I wonder if Dr. Doom and Skeletor got in a fight who would win. I'll have to figure that out one day. And these guys are fun because you can put, pull them their helmets off or basically pull their heads off and put on their regular heads. And Captain America, I didn't know you could pull off Captain America's head at will and then put his, his helmet head on. <laughs> That's a feature they don't really show in the movie. Oh, and look at these. Some Ren and Stimpies and Powdered Toast Man. Talk about a superhero. All kind of stuff. Even a, a Beavis <laughs> figure. Oh, here's a big giant penguin. Here's my hand for scale. That's Catwoman. Fun. Look at all these. Yep, the box of fun. Let's see what you'll find down in there. If you like wrestling stuff, they got some wrestling things. Right over here. Yeah. 
They even got Stan Lee in his cool sweater. Stan Lee made sweaters cool. <laughs> oh man, these are the best. Oh look, there's Skelly Tor himself. And look, there's his brother Skelly Tor. And their girlfriend Evil Ann. Y'all remember all them? And there's a lot of these things that honestly I haven't I don't have any idea about. I remember the alien movies. Although Alien 3, I don't know. I kind of blocked that one out of my mind. There's some robots, but they're in disguise, so be careful. Going to giant Optimus Prime up there. Yeah, y'all look down too, because there's stuff down low. Gargoyles, you know that? Oh, and this one's all 3D. In case you can't tell, it's kind of hard to see on the on camera, but it is 3D. They like moving around and stuff in real life. <laughs> That's kind of frightening. Here's a big case with a lot of loose toys in it that are available for purchase. Some of these are robots in disguise too, except for uh, Baby Yoda, Grogu, and look, he's got his, his guy in his belly that would drive him around. Yeah, that brings to mind a, a, an old toy that you don't see too many places, but a uh, similar kind of idea. They had uh, this set, it was back in the 60s, they had these little robot guys and they were battery powered and they each did something and uh there was a a big guy <laughs> and actually the, the all the robots that were called the dingalings <laughs> that no, i didn't make the name up that's what they called them and uh the big one was called king ding <laughs> and he had a he had a little robot that would like go inside him and up, i think it went up into his head and would drive him around <laughs> so yeah king ding ask for him by name if you go to any of those conventions or anything look for uh look for dingling robots and see what they say look at that that's scary right there <laughs> pluto's taking over castle grayskull oh man all kinds of new ones old ones like I said a lot of these I've never even seen I don't remember seeing them before oh, there's Luke sky flapper hey there's Luke sky flapper again let's let's compare okay now, I don't know if his helmet comes off it might we got some some differences. Wait a minute. <laughs> it's the, the the Sky Flapper Trio, and they uh, their fabulous floor show. But uh, these look, that's a lot alike. I'm sure there's some differences in it, but I, I'm not going to go into detail right now. And just so you know, this is my hand for scale. So you can tell how big they are. And because they're, yeah, one of the differences, uh, the snow speeder Luke or the uh, X-Wing Luke. And then there's this Luke. He didn't have his, his outfit on at all. He's just wearing his cool jacket and his gold, his big gold medallion. Let's wrap in Luke, I think, is when he, has, he had his uh, gold medallion. 
Oh, an Ultraman. Oh, and look at that. It's the creature. All right, yeah, and look at these. Look, here's Luke Skywalker again. And uh, that's his X-Wing gear, not his snow speeder gear. So you remember that. And uh, this Princess Leah. And oh, here's some, uh, here's, a, here's a, a thing if you didn't know this. That's a Tusken Raider, also known as the Sand People or a Sand Person. But uh, you'll have to look at the picture, and I bet some people didn't know that because these are old. But um, look at what he's holding there. And yeah, look what he came with. Now, how do you think that worked? And they even have a picture of him over here where he's holding that. But he had, had a, his gun and everything. But little did people know there were two versions of it. So collect them all. Because there is a version where he came with his Gatarafi stick. If that's how you say it. It was something like that. And here's another cool one. Remember the cool cantina band? They had every member of the cantina band. They made every one of them. And that one came... That one's got his fanfare. He was kind of like, um, he played that. It was kind of like a flute sort of thing. He was kind of like Zamfir, only different. He's Zamfir of Star Wars. Okay, and look what I found here. Okay, I'm gonna pull this up so we can look at it. See, remember that? Look, here's the other one. He's right here. Just so, so you know I'm not fooling you or something. But when you open it up, Look that, he's got it back there. See that behind him? Yeah, uh-huh. So now you know, now you know who's the master of action figures. <laughs> Collect them all. Now see, now you gotta get two of them. If you got one, now you gotta get the other one. And they have them both here, so you could complete the whole set of two. <laughs> if that's all you were gonna get. If you're a sand people person, uh, you, you could load up. Oh, and this is a good set. Wampa, wampa, wampa. Oh, and look down here. Here's some good stuff. There's a buzz before he comes out with his new movie. That's his old stuff. But uh, look at that. There's a Yukon Cornelius and his uh, dog sled and everything. And I think he has tongue licking action so he can taste his, uh, his mining pick every once in a while like he did on the show. And as all you people that remember Spawn, it came out and it was a big huge thing. Everybody went crazy over the comic books and stuff. And we're like fighting each other and everything and ripping them in half because they were fighting over the comic books and because they were worth so much. And uh, they started making action figures and then they kind of, I don't know what happened. And uh, now they're coming out with more. Mortal Kombat Spawn. Look that. Yep, they got it. And look. It's Kirk and Tony. Oh, wait, wait, that's not Spock. <laughs> hmm. I don't know if Tiny Spock would approve of that. They just got his cardboard image in the background. So, hmm. Let's just see about that. That's how I thought about bringing Tiny Spock over here and uh, I got distracted and forgot him. Yeah, cool Muppet uh, toys. Beaker and Dr. Bunsen. And look that. And look that. That's life size, I think. Don't tell him I said that because he gets mad. If y'all ever watched that show, Westworld, you got different ones. Going back there, look at that. There's some Dune figures. Oh, all kind of good stuff. Oh, there's a big old, big old tatai on there. If you don't know what a tatai is, it's it's like a big bug, sort of scary monster thing. <laughs> so that's what that is. That's not its official name, but but uh, close enough. 
Oh, and here's creepy, super creepy uh, Skeletor. Oh yeah, they have something. Um, let me see if I can find it again. Skeletor related. That I think everyone needs to be aware of when they come in. <laughs> Let's see. Yep, there it is. The real live Skeletor st The Havoc Staff, yes. <laughs> and uh, they're not afraid to use it. <laughs> but yeah, there's just tons of stuff. I keep seeing things that's like I don't remember if I showed these or not. <laughs> Oh yeah, the incredible color changing Hulk where they couldn't decide whether he should be green or gray. Lots of cool stuff. There's even some posters and artwork and stuff back in the back. Yeah, I think I missed some of these. These are some good G.I. Joe stuff. Depends on what era you're looking for. There's some of the, there's some of the repro old style ones. And then you go forward in time and you find uh, the American Hero GI Joe stuff. And Godzilla man, he's king of the monsters. In case you didn't know, he was king of the monsters, or he still is, I guess. I haven't heard of a new King of the Monsters, but then there's King Kong, so I don't, I could be confused. Oh, and look, it's another tiny Spock. This is like old, old tiny Spock. <laughs> That's actually original Spock. Oh, and look who I see hiding back there, but it's not the tiny Spock that I know. It's a different Spock. You can't have enough Spocks. <laughs> this is that Austin Powers? That's not the uh, the Downtowner edition, though. Well, it kind of is. <laughs> she could have been there. Yeah, well, they sure have some cool stuff in there. A lot of things I never saw before and and a lot of things I didn't know, never heard of. <laughs> but I learned a lot. And, uh, and now I know uh, about more anime stuff and all that kind of thing. Uh, they got a little bit of everything in there. That's a fun store to go to. If you're ever in Lafayette, Louisiana, you can stop by and check it out and probably leave with a bunch of stuff. Check back soon for more Look Dad.